Hi there everyone, it's Mohamed Kamara here. I'm playing the Kora on Long Play Live. Hi everyone, my name is Mohamed Kamara. I come from Guinea, West Africa. And um, this is the Kora. We have a West African harp and 21 string usually we use a fishing line for the kora and underneath it we have the good and bit of um, timber and the idea of the keys is just um, recent because traveling and then so in different weather so the keys can stay in tune all right so this song is called banile Mamma yo die Mamma na ma yo die Mamma 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 yo Mamma yo die Mamma yo gine piye rimenge ma Iman fa menge ya soto Aga meta na ye Masa ka dunya linda molu Ka mogolu fanada jigika Yeah Sano ye mogodo fe lambeti Wodi ye mogodo fe lambeti lade Sanu ye mogo do fe lambeti Ye wodi ye mogo do fe lambeti Lade Abani le abani wo Kele mani sanko mani sete jombolo Masale fama Bana kumari menge matandi Ikumari ikumari menge matandi Ye Allo ça va, mais pour qu'à t'y la gâte Yeah Hey Mohamed, thanks for joining us at Long Play Live. Thank you very much. What's your greatest musical inspirations? Growing up in West Africa, you know, like Guinea Conakry is in the center of West African music. So, you know, I grew up listening to Salif Keita, Yusundu, Baba Mal, and a lot of our Mori Kante, which is just passed away. And um, within West Africa, they went like really different. Artists from Mali come to Guinea, and Guinean artists go to Mali, Senegal, every coast, Burkina, Gambia. So it's really like one country. It's just a map, divide the place, but really we are one, one people. What's the most amount of drummers you've ever played with together? Oh, growing up, like uh, there was about 15 of us. That's like a percussion setup. We had the djembes, there's eight of us doing the drum session with arrangement. And we have the xylophone, the dunduns, the kora. Talking drum? Not a tama, but in other setup, definitely like orchestra playing in West Africa, there's talking drum. In Guinea, pretty much everywhere you go drumming is there, so it's a very large part of the culture and stuff. I suppose because you're a drummer and you play instruments, yeah. uh, jokes about drummers don't really apply because you can, you know, in Australia they make jokes about drummers sometimes, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. 
um, whether my question about drummers will apply. I don't know. Yeah. Ignore that question. No worries. <laughs> and the next one is called Lambang, which is dedicated to the jelly of West Africa. And when I say jelly, mean griot, like music is really pretty much part of you. Yeah. Lambang. dream much? Every now and then. Not often like as when I was young but it's still a yeah, dream. Do you look for meaning in your dreams? Definitely looking for meaning you know like because in Africa when you have a dream I'll go to my elders and I will say ask them a question because specific sign you see in your dream they actually have understanding of that you know. For example if you see like a, a snake in your dream, my grandmother will say, oh, you gotta watch out, Marby baby on the way. Do you have a, an animal that you relate to more than others? Mali is uh, my animal, which is the deer. Traditionally, deer is always careful in the jungle, you know, like it's that animal. Even he hit the sound of the, the lizard is gonna make a run, you know, and I feel like human, if the more like we careful, the more we can be ourselves. Do you ever have road rage? When I have my license was like fresh, first time driving here. I was on high street and I was going to a class, backing up. I think there was a little uh, touch to this guy's car and then I saw him running like a, out of his car. I'm like, follow me, I'm just doing the class over there and then we can talk about it, we can solve this, but he was over the top, like angry, police came, I'm like, this is just my job, I told him to follow me, we can fix whatever, I just want to show my presence at the class so people can understand, I'm here, this is what happening, they can wait, but he was really like, going for it, I'm like. What are you looking forward to most in uh, 21? 21, like uh, switching the mindset from Corona, you know, like you turn on the news, it's like the same thing we hear, you know, we feel sad, a lot of people passed away, 
and it would be great, you know, like to not to forget about the lives, but we remember that regardless this sad moment for the world, but um, to be normal again, to be to gain our life again, you know, move on in a good way without forgetting the pe people we love the most. So yeah. Do you think it'll uh, give the community a more appreciation for what we took for granted? I think coronavirus kind of taught a lot of us, like a lot of different things, yeah? You get to have that downtime that was stressed before, but now I can actually work at home or do things differently. So I feel like, you know, there's positive, a lot of positive in there. It's great to have you on and thank you so much. No worries, thank you very much. Okay, this next one is called Sherry. Thank you very much. I would like to take the opportunity to say thank you to Long Play for having me. Thanks again once more. Thank you. <laughs> 